it's, it can be quite stressful actually to, to be an actor. and welcome to Fluorescent. Today I'm joined with Javier Mora, who is an actor and yoga teacher. Hi, Javier. Hello, Sophie. And uh, can you just tell us where you are at the moment? I'm in Santiago de Chile, in South America. Uh, currently in lockdown, so I'm inside uh, my house uh, waiting for this COVID virus to go away or for the vaccine to come <laughs> and can you tell us a little bit about yourself i'm a, a professional actor and a yoga teacher i'm not acting since i think the last time i i performed it was in london when i was taking a master's degree in applied drama and i had the opportunity to play perform a few times it was very beautiful and before that I think it was in 2015, the last time I performed. So for me, acting is something uh, from the past. And now I'm more into teaching yoga, which is uh, one of my passions. And um, I started uh, practicing uh, yoga when I was in high school and teaching when I was at the university. What inspired you to go into yoga? Um, the first time I did the Surya Namaskars uh, series, which is the sun salutation, I was 10 years old. It was my big brother, uh, sibling. He, he taught me that. Um, and then, well, that was it. And then the last year uh, in high school, a friend invited me to take a Kundalini yoga class. Um, I don't know. It, it was... It gave me, um, like, a, I, I feel like I found myself, so to speak. I got very inter interested in developing uh, my mindset. I, I, I realized that with very simple things, you can actually change a lot how you feel and how you experience life. Well, I guess, what, is, what inspires you in your life or in your work? when you're working in theater or during yoga? What inspires me while teaching yoga is to see how it helps people. Uh, many times some uh, students come to me with some issues, anxiety, uh, fears. After a few lessons, sometimes it's just one lesson, they change the, the, their whole mood. And uh, so I think that's uh, something very, very powerful. Uh, yoga, it's, it's very complex from one point of view, but it's also very simple. You just work using your body, uh, your breath. Um, it's just like kind of taking your attention from the outside world to inwards. And, and you can make such big uh, changes in your life. I think that's the, the most uh, inspiring part for me so why do you think that it's so important for people to have an awareness of um, self-care for themselves maybe if they're creative or working in theater or just in their everyday lives so when you are creating um, I saw that being an actor in, in my company we, we were always having some issues and I would say most of the time because of our egos um, and it's, it can be quite stressful actually to, to be an actor. So once I heard that acting was one of the most stressful careers at the uni, I don't know if it is true or not, yeah. but people get very, very stressed. Uh, you, you feel like you have to do it well and it's, there is so much pressure on you. So there are so many things uh, that we, <laughs> with uh, artists and creators and struggling with, you lose your well-being, right? Uh, while doing the, the thing you love, which is art. And it makes no sense to not be happy doing what you supposedly 
love. Um, so uh, I think it's very, very important to, to have this space of self-care to start reconnecting with, your, with, with what you're doing from a different perspective. I think everything is about perspective. Um, to start uh, enjoying it again. I remember when I was 15, I was doing theater, being in a high school, and it was only, it was all joy. Uh, but then at uni, when, when things started getting more serious, everything was more stressful, and, and we lost somehow the joy of doing theater. Um, so I think it's very important for artists to, to connect, to reconnect with that joy, to, to that playfulness. Yeah, definitely. So. But also I think sometimes teachers and directors, they, their methods on, don't support people's well-being. Yeah, many times if you are studying arts, your teachers are not teachers <laughs> yeah. in a way. They are, sometimes they are great artists and that's why they are teaching, but they, um, they are missing some bits uh, that teachers should have. Uh, sometimes they lack a little bit of compassion or empathy <laughs> uh, because they are seeing things from their ego perspective again. Um, so sometimes they can be quite harsh with some students. I, I saw that like some directors at the uni treating, mistreating really, really badly some, some classmates, uh, especially women. It was common to see that with some directors, um, my classmates like crying <laughs> after every rehearsal. You don't need that to, to create a beautiful piece of art, I would say. Um, yeah. yeah. Also, when, when you, sorry, when, when you release some stress, uh, I think you take more, better decisions. Uh, like uh, everything flows better. Um, so I think that's also <clears throat> important in order to, to succeed as an artist, like to overcome the, 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 the hardship of doing art in this world. Yeah. This is tough. And also, I guess, like, it comes, comes back to finding balance in your life is, is very important, no matter what you do, but also if you're an artist or a creative, it's important to be able to separate from your work, find balance for yourself, um, because not like we were discussing, there will be times where the people that you're working with, they won't be putting your well-being as a priority. So people need to find a way to do that for themselves. And that's where self-care comes in. Absolutely. Yeah. Yes. Balancing your professional, personal, family life, um, and your life in society as well. What are some kind of ways that people could do that or ways that you've learned in your own experience of being an artist, I guess? Well, for me, it was very, very important uh, finding this field of applied drama where you are working with non-actors. I loved that. Uh, it put me in a, again in this place of joy and playfulness. Uh, I, f I, I feel very different when I'm doing a theater with artists and actors and with non-actors. And I actually prefer working with non-actors. Um, um, so for me, that's one way to, to get back to, to this joy. And um, I'm sure this, this joy is, is very important in order to, to, to find your wellness. Uh, to be to be well, um, and also uh, doing different doing things different from what you are always doing. For instance, if you are if you are a painter, um, let's play some music sometimes, or or let let's write or something like to to change a little bit. Sometimes you are to stuck in something. I think to vary a little bit uh, could be could be good as well. And, and well, from a yoga perspective, always working and using your body will, will be always good. So again, if you are a director and you're always sitting and writing and reading and etc., maybe you have to go running a little bit or dancing 
and socializing is always good also. Um, so I, I guess everyone has their own way. Uh, of course, eating well, um, sleeping well. <laughs> My last question is, so if people wanted to check out um, your yoga page, where could they go? Um, they can, I think they, uh, the best way would be Instagram, Usu Yoga, yeah. U-Z-U dot yoga. Um, and they can find me there. They, they can text me. Um, I'm offering yoga classes. I want to offer yoga in English as well. I'm teaching in Spanish now, but I would love to have students in English also. So it would be great. And um, on your Instagram, you also have some short videos of different ways that you can relax when you're working from home or... A little bit, yeah. I was I was doing this one minute break, uh, yeah, just one minute doing some movements and stuff. I also I'm also uh, sharing some laughter yoga, which is uh, something very different from Kundalini yoga, but still very very helpful. So I just wanted to say thank you so much for your time today. I really appreciate it, and it's been very interesting talking to you. Thank you, Sophie. Thank you so much for, for this invitation.